Guys, please subscribe and help the channel get to 100k. Yeah! Welcome to Home of NZU TV. It's the Petway Premiership. Kaza Chiefs 2, Richards Bay 1. I'm joined by Takuzo. So, so, Steve, how is it? Ah, I'm not good money. I'm not good money. Hey. Yeah, no, today's game. Uh, firstly, uh, let me go into uh, uh, the game. Are you happy with uh, Richards 1? Look, uh, I must be uh, uh, honest, uh, we're quite uh, happy about their performance. Yeah. But before I go into the performance, let me start with uh, uh, Richards Bay. Firstly, I think Richards Bay. Uh, was far much better last season uh, under the leadership of uh, Villagazi. Yes. So I think uh, the management change uh, uh, affected them very uh, badly this season. So they yeah. are not uh, uh, as good as good as last season. The structure is uh, different. Structureless. So there is a bit of problems there. So I think uh, in terms of the way that uh, they are applying themselves, Richards Bay, they thought that bringing in uh, Truta would, would be advantageous for them or yeah. bringing in experience in terms of management, but I think that is compromising them entirely uh, going into the, uh, today's game. Yeah. You could see that uh, uh, the structure that they had under Villagazi and under Truta, it's uh, way different. Yeah. Because if you check Richards Bay in the first half, uh, it never played. Set back, uh, allowed Keza Chiefs to play, yeah. to dominate them. Uh, Keza Chiefs kept, kept, uh, kept uh, coming, onto the, uh, coming into their half. Yes. So uh, they allowed Keza Chiefs uh, to play. Uh, they allowed Keza Chiefs to dominate them. Yeah. So I think uh, if you look at Keza Chiefs at the back, they were well balanced at the back. Yeah. They had Frostla and uh, they had uh, Cross uh, uh, and also Dutli and... Uh, Simango. Simango at the back. Uh, they were well balanced at the back, Stivo. I need to be honest, uh, they played quite well. Uh, Frostla uh, in, uh, had a lot of moments where he used to invert in, into the middle field to support uh, their middle field. Yes. I think uh, that's why we had uh, 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 Ox uh, Tetwa who played uh, quite well because he was uh, always supported by Frostla, uh, uh, who uh, is very fast, Yeah. can always come in into the middle field to invert and all, ensure that uh, they have uh, the best support in the middle field. Sure. And then you come into the middle field, they had Ox, he sat in the middle field, uh, helped them a lot. Um, help them in situations where they needed to absorb a lot of pressure. Yeah. So I think Kaiser Chiefs, in terms of uh, the way they played today, they were very balanced. Uh, they played quite well. But you had uh, Mart, uh, someone who we, uh, we always look at and say is not doing well. I think today he did exceptionally well. Yeah. He played uh, uh, very well. He had a lot of forward passes, tried to open spaces. He made the team to tick. I think uh, overall today... Uh, the way in which he played, uh, he he allowed the middle field, especially Kaiser Chiefs, the structure in which they were structured. Sure. They they were structured in a manner that they allowed uh, their wing players to come in and help them. Yeah. So Kaiser Chiefs today, in the way that they were structured, both in the uh, middle field of the park, they were effective on the sides of the park, they were effective. Uh, in the first half, they dominated uh, Richards Bay completely. Come to the second half, uh, we, we it, it was not as uh, dominant uh, as uh, the first half, mainly because of uh, the red card. But uh, Kaiser Chiefs uh, still managed to hold on to uh, the, the game. Yeah. So they showed a lot of discipline uh, coming into this game. So I think uh, it's great performance from them, considering that they had a red card and could uh, uh, even manage to uh, win the game without uh, actually... Uh, considering, uh, uh, especially because they were a man down, yes. and still even managed to score one more goal uh, and try and protect uh, the three points yeah. that uh, uh, they they won. So I think uh, today, going into today's game, I think uh, uh, Kaiser Chiefs played very well. Uh, they were balanced uh, with the ten men that they had. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, in terms of uh, 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 the way Nabi is cooking, I I think uh, there is something that is being cooked. I think uh, they really need to give him a bit of time. Uh, the structure in which they are structured, I think they have a structure. They need, really need to work on it. But I was very impressed uh, by him bringing in Dupriz, who gave them a different dimension in, in front. Uh, he's been playing uh, Ranga, who has been uh, quite uh, uh, not delivering for them, you know. Yes. So uh, Dupriz today gave them a different dimension, was able to uh, actually run behind the defense. Yes. So I think uh, uh, the coach is now starting to understand uh, the players that he has at uh, Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. He's uh, now utilizing them uh, quite well. We had Modi, not as effective uh, today, but uh, he had a few moves that uh, I think uh, we can say that uh, he, he also played uh, uh, quite well. Yeah. You know, so I think uh, overall uh, the Kaiser Chiefs team uh, today for me uh, did uh, quite well and I'm quite uh, happy about uh, the performance. 
they are no longer cooking. Uh, I, I I still think that uh, they need to give it a bit of time. Yeah. Uh, but there is uh, uh, something that uh, they are working on. I think uh, the acquisition of Nabi was uh, a great acquisition. So I think they really need to work on uh, 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 delivering and consistent results. But uh, for now, I still believe that uh, they are in the right shape and in the right uh, direction. Yeah. London said they're going to finish top two behind you. Is that something that they are capable of? Look, uh, that uh, is being too ambitious, uh, uh, <laughs> looking at uh, coming into Which number is... two. Yeah, but uh, I think they are developing, so they, 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 they will be part of the top eight. Yeah. I think that should be their first target uh, this season, uh, so that at least uh, next season they can target for greater heights. But I think uh, uh, for now they can't uh, uh, claim themselves as contenders for, for, for today, but, yeah. for, for this season, because it's quite uh, difficult, <laughs> uh, considering the fact that uh, Pirates is already sitting at uh, 21 points. Uh, yes. So the gap between the two already shows you that... Uh, it's not going to be an easy uh, uh, one for Kaiser Chief to catch up. Man of the match today? Uh, I'll want to give it to uh, Mart. Yeah. I think today he did uh, everything for Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, he helped the team uh, where it needed him. He managed to open up spaces. But uh, the most important thing, that pass that uh, he gave uh, uh, for the goal, you know. Aish. So I think that pass uh, <laughs> uh, uh, for me was uh, uh, the breaker. But... Even in the first half, the way he was fighting, the way he was uh, trying to open up the moves, you know, he, he became the leader that he was uh, tasked to be. Yeah. And he showed that uh, I, I, I am the man uh, of the moment. And he helped Kaiser Chiefs uh, today. So I think uh, the fans that always say Mart is not doing well, today I differ with them. Uh, he had a very great game. Sure. He played and helped Kaiser Chiefs uh, quite well. And uh, also... Uh, because we just came back from a very vital game yesterday of Orlando Pirates. You know, I wanted to yeah, touch on the performance also of yesterday where yeah. we had uh, Pirates playing uh, uh, in Africa, yeah. where it was representing the country. Sure. I think uh, it also played very well. A very balanced team. Uh, the game was competitive. It had a very great first half. But we must salute uh, the great, uh, the young uh, uh, Nkota and yeah. Mufuking. The two Kokomelons are doing uh, great. They're helping us week in, week out. So. Sure. We must say that uh, we, 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 we are happy to see the boys doing that, especially away from home. We have clinched the first victory, and uh, on the 7th, we are playing with Al Hartley. We are all going to Orlando to ensure that uh, we get the six points so that at least we know that we are at least safer uh, going to uh, the, ne uh, the last uh, three games of uh, the, group the group stages. stages yeah. Uh, I think, uh, look, in the manner that uh, we played yesterday, uh, Alatli coming home it's definitely not going to score uh, so we'll definitely uh, score at least two goals uh, in in in, the, in that game on the 7th of uh, uh, December. La -la. No I definitely uh, think the way Pirates is structured and the manner that uh, Rivero is playing the team the combination plays that uh, Pirates uh, uh, is trying to uh, uh, create it shows that now the team has been playing together it is jailing and it's becoming a force uh, some uh, uh, of uh, uh, the fans might not realize that uh, the win yesterday makes us a contender because we won uh, against uh, a team from Algeria, uh, the number one in Algeria. Yeah. A very strong team. Uh, it's in uh, the same level as Al Atli. Yes. So we need to really uh, 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 know that uh, the win yesterday means a lot and shows that uh, what level are we sitting at as uh, uh, Pirates in this season. So it definitely shows us that this season we are going to be com uh, competing for trophies. So it, 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 it does give us... Uh, uh, a good uh, impression about our team that our team is trying to compete for everything and in the manner that it's uh, playing it's helping uh, it's it's in the manner that it's playing it's good and convincing because the results that we get are not a uh, uh, fluke uh, results they are results that are uh, hard fought so i think yeah the team uh, the way we are playing i i i i definitely see uh, a lot of people uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, crying. crying about uh, the manner in which uh, Pirates is playing, you know. Who are those people? Mm, uh, you they know, uh, I don't want to talk about uh, our neighbors, but let me <laughs> uh, uh, speak about Sundowns. Obviously, Manuel Anguit will not be happy to see the results because he said that uh, Pirates is not going to win against uh, small teams, but uh, we're proving him wrong uh, continuously, week in, week out. Yeah. We're winning against those small teams. So his, uh, his assertion of uh, saying that uh, we'll not uh, win uh, the league uh, we're proving him wrong uh, completely. You know? Hey. No, he said it in the uh, earlier uh, when was the season was starting that hey. the biggest uh, difference between Sundowns and Pirates is that they win uh, against small teams and we lose uh, against small teams. Hey. So that uh, uh, 
a uh, gossip, you know, yeah. is, turning, uh, 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 is turning against him. So uh, it definitely shows that uh, we're in the right direction. But also, we must congratulate uh, Jose Rivero uh, for taking us this far. Yeah. Because uh, the number of wins that we have had this season are uncountable. Yeah. Uh, so we, I think in South Africa, we have won more games than any other team uh, so far. So it, 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 it shows that actually the number of games that we have won, uh, a lot of teams might not catch up to that uh, 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 number number uh, uh, throughout the season, you know. Yeah. So it shows that uh, uh, we 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 are a contender for uh, this uh, season. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Good money.